video is going to be on how to edit a host file on Windows 10. It is pretty much the same for all of the Windows, Windows uh, 7, Windows XP, but you need to get, in Windows 10, we're going to be dealing with that right now. So you need to get this box up here. If this box isn't up here, the search box, you want to hit the Windows button on the bottom, and that will make it pop up. And then you want to type in Notepad. So we're going to type in Notepad, N-O-T-E-P-A-D. And when you do that, you're going to get Notepad popping up over there. You want to move the mouse over the top, and you want to right-click it, and you want to click Run, left-click Run as Administrator. That's the most important thing. If you don't do, you don't have to do this on Windows XP, I don't think. Uh, because you're usually in an administrator account, but on Windows 7, you're definitely going to have to run it as the administrator. Left click and run as administrator. Notepad is now going to come up, and you're going to give it permission to make changes, so you click yes. And now you've got your notepad up there. Okay, most of this is pretty much standard. Now you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Open, and you're going to do... We're going to look for Windows. Okay, it's a new PC, so we're setting this up. I'm going to do Windows. Hopefully it shows up. Um, it might be hidden. It looks like it's hidden here. I don't know why. Very strange. It took me very, very strange. It took me straight into Windows System 32. I don't even know why I did it, but that's what you want to do. You want to go to Windows. Mine automatically went in there. You want to go to uh, Windows, so C drive, Windows, System 32. And then you're going to go do a search for drivers. And this is just like you would do it on uh, Windows 7. Drivers. And you want to go to ETC. And now. We don't have anything. Why don't we have anything? Because toast is a hidden file. And most Windows machines are set up not to show the hidden files or the system files, so we're going to have to go in there and change that, which we're going to do right now, as soon as I can figure out how to do it on Windows 10. For me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get into Control Panel. Um, let me get over here, down here. I want to type in control panel, and we've already got it up at the top, so we're going to do control panel, and then we're going to, all right, the mouse is going crazy on the new setup over here. We're going to do appearances and personalizations. We've got file, okay, so Windows 10 has made this a lot easier to do than Windows 7. File, explore, options, show hidden files and folders, and then you get this box that pops up. And so we're going to see what's going on here right now. We're going to see don't show hidden files, folders, or drives. Hide empty drives. Hide extensions for known file types. Always undo that. You should always know what your extensions are. Um, hide protected operating system files. That is probably it. And so I'm going to say yes because I want to unhide that. And I'm going to show hidden files, folders, and drives at least until I get this thing changed. Apply. OK. I'll just close that out because I'm going to need that later. So let's go do... Um, let's try to do drivers again up here. Let's see if we can make this work. ETC. I have absolutely nothing in the ETC folder. I don't know why. Let me go find out where it's at. There we go, a little tricky, little tricky. Windows 10 puts text documents over here. You need to right click, go to all files. Your host is gonna come up here. You should be able to go in there and, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit this. Open with, well, I'm already opened over there, so. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rename my host file to BAK and then I'm going to go in there and edit the host file. That's the safest way to do it so you always have your original.
way to do that is you highlight the host file, you do a copy, left click, go over here, do a right click, paste, and we have hosts copy. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click, I'm going to do a period, and I'm going to do a TXT, which I might need to do, it might be redundant, maybe not, but by doing the TXT, I know that I can go in here now and edit this. There's my host file, exactly what I wanted. And now I want to go in here and put in a couple of lines. Let's see if I can do that. Um, let's do a paste. It's not going to work. There we go. I've got my data that I want to paste in here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste it. I've got my uh, info in there and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to save. That is now my host.txt file. I'm going to close this and I'm going to try to go back to that folder if I can. I don't know if I can find it. I think I can. So there is my file. I really don't like how they do this text only. I, I understand they're doing it because we're in Notepad. And so I'm going to go over here right now and I'm going to change this to all files just so we can see what happens. I've got my host TXT. I'm going to click that again. I'm going to go over to TXT. I'm going to backspace TXT period. I'm going to go hit enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And now I've got my host file which has just been modified at 4 p.m. and I've got my backup, the copy, the original, which was at uh, interesting um, 4.11.18. I wonder why that was done. I guess they set this machine up uh, 4.11 a month ago. Okay, so that's how you edit your host file in Windows 10. Please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, donate to my channel if you want to ask for my PayPal info. It's a review channel, so if you want to donate, uh, that would be awesome. If you have a product you want me to uh, review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. Thanks for watching, everybody.